Hello everyone, we're back from Sparkles College with a new lecture for you, which is as interesting and as knowledgeable as our all lectures are for you. And we really hope that you enjoy listening to this, understanding this and enhancing your knowledge. First of all, a request from you all, please kindly subscribe our channel so that you get updated with our latest videos and latest lectures, which are going to enlighten you with some new topics every day. Right, so the, f the topic today that is under discussion is basically 10 reasons why Pakistan is going on Sri Lanka's track and pace. This is something which is very important and maybe, you know, at times we forget these topics and we don't discuss them. We forget that without getting to the root cause of the problems that we're facing in Pakistan, we won't be able to, you know, find the solutions to it. Why we're making a comparison be between Pakistan and Sri Lanka is because Sri Lanka has gone through a similar situation that Pakistan is going through these days. That's why it's a good comparison to see what Sri Lanka had, what we didn't have, what we have, what Sri Lanka didn't have, and you know, vice versa. In order to basically make sure that where Sri Lanka was standing and where are we standing at the moment. So Pakistan is very important to all the residents of Pakistan. Sri Lanka is important to all the residents of Sri Lanka. But it's always good to talk about different countries in order to make sure, in order to see that, you know, where is your standing, in order to learn from the mistakes that were made from other countries as well. So Sri Lanka is also a sort of example for us from which we can learn, you know, we can learn what they had, what we didn't you know, and what we have and we're still struggling. So it's very important for us to make a comparison. Let me start by giving you a quick inter uh, introduction of what Sri Lanka situation is or was. All right. So Sri Lanka's economic crisis. No, this is a very wide concept and I think not hidden from anyone that Sri Lanka's economic crisis started in 2019. All right. And when the economic crisis started in 2019, what were some of the factors that were actually, you know, constituting to that economic crisis included extraordinary levels of inflation. It means that everything was, you know, getting very expensive in, in Sri Lanka and you know, the levels of inflation was rising with every month, every year, the inflation was increasing. Everything was super expensive. People were not able to, you know, get the basic necessities of life as well. And the, you know, the basically the value of their currency was decreasing every day. So near depletion of foreign exchange reserves, the reserves that they had from the for themselves, which every country has, you know, foreign exchange reserves for times like these when there are economic crisis. But there was strong de depletion of such foreign exchange reserves as well in Sri Lanka. So this was another cause. So we have to now discuss two of them. It was extraordinary levels of inflation near depletion of foreign exchange reserves. Moving on, shortages of medical supplies and an increase in prices of basic commodities. So when medical supplies, when economic crises are there, if you know you're sick and you want medicines, you want medical help. So there was shortage of medical supplies in Sri Lanka as well. And there was an increase in prices of basic commodities that is going on as well. Right? So what are basic commodities? Basic commodities are food, shelter, clothes, etc. And these are the basic, these are not even luxuries. These are the basic, basic necessities of life, which need to be there in order to live a living, in order to feed yourself, in order to feed your families, your children, your wife, your husbands, right? So this is something, your parents. So this is something which is very crucial. An increase in the prices of basic commodities was, means, you know, maybe vegetable prices, maybe, maybe you know, uh, grocery prices, may, maybe, uh, you know, all all the food items everything everything was super expensive so this resulted all of these were the reasons for the economic crisis that started in 2019 so because of this this resulted in sri, sri lanka's protests that started in 2022 now you can hear a lot about sri lanka's protests that are going on in 2022 regarding you know all these economic crises where they think they're uh, people they are they're just you know they're done with it and they want to come out they want to speak they want to tell people that they're not actually you know they they're unable to survive because of these increasing uh prices increasing le inflation levels economic crisis that's going on so this resulted in sri lanka's protests in 2022 all right all right now just uh, because i'm giving you an economic uh i'm giving you an overview of the economic crisis of sri lanka 
we have discussed the reasons uh, we have discussed not basically the reasons we have actually discussed the factors right which are which constituted to economic crisis so now we also discussed that it resulted in sri lanka's protest in 2022 now coming to what you know what was what were the uh, reasons that were causing this sri lanka's protest what were the reason that was causing this you know uh, economic crisis what were the reasons that were causing the extraordinary levels of inflation extraordinary depletion of foreign exchange reserves shortages of medical supplies increase in prices of basic commodities these were basically the you know the factors that were constituting economic crisis but they were root causes underneath them and i am going to discuss them with you so cause the the sri lankan economic crisis and the protests and all these things they were basically the economic crisis was caused due to tax cuts and money creation so the tax cut was you know uh, when you're not giving taxes right that means that you are not also generating the revenue for the government that revenue that they are going to use in your uh your country itself when we give taxes to or any uh, you know in any country that you are living and you give taxes to the government you expect the government to you know use those taxes in your favor to use that total amount of money to create something that is better for you to create jobs to create employment right that's to pay off the external debts to you know uh just get foreign remittances to increase agriculture industry to increase tourism industry that is why you pay taxes right so that government can use it for your betterment so it caused due to tax cuts and money creation so money supply was increased so much and as you know that when money supply is too much it leads to inflation money supply is not not good always right it's not like if you're going to have a lot of supply of money and you will think okay i'm going to buy everything from it no it's going to lead to inflation right so money supply their money supply and, and inflation they are basically directly proportional if money supply is going to be more inflation is going to be more right then external debt you uh, sri lanka took so many loans from other countries as well and they had external debts as well and they were they fell in a debt trap debt trap is when you are basically so much in debt and you are get you are you from the neighboring countries or from from the countries that you think you have good relationships with and you're you know uh, just taking the money from them it leads to a debt trap debt trap diplomacy is an international financial relationship where a creditor country or institution extends debt to a borrowing nation partially or solely to increase lender's potential leverage right it, to to basically increase the lender's political leverage that okay we are going to give you Uh, the debt but you know we are going we are increasing our uh, you know potential or political leverage so this is something which is very very important that you know this is what sri lanka was facing that they were going in a debt trap which is very very you can say a problematic situation for them fall of foreign remittances again this was a situation where they they were having fall of foreign remittances they were not get, getting tourists uh, tourists in their countries they were not are uh, getting remittances from other countries right tourism was also declining agriculture crisis was there was there the crops were not growing when the crops were not growing the farmers were not able to sell them they were not able to earn the basic uh, living for themselves the russia ukraine war you very well know that what this is right so everyone knows that in the months of preceding the invasion russian officials accused ukraine of russophobia inciting tensions and repressing russian speakers in ukraine they also made multiple security demands uh you know security demands of ukraine nato and non nato allies in the eu commentators and western officials they basically you know these commentators and western officials are described these as attempts to justify war so this was a situation where russia ukrainian war was a very big example uh you know a very big reason which led to the sri lankan crisis as well okay so this is something which is very important then we had defaulted on its debt for the first time in its history right so in the first time of in, of its history they were defaulted on its debt right the debt was so much that they were defaulted and the first time in in its history since 2019 and you know the the situation was worsening right until 2022 as you know that they started the protest